What's up, party people? It's your boy Kev here, back at it again with a travel vlog. Oh, didn't know we did these. We don't. This is my first time doing it. Uh, I'm going to Banff today. It's about 2:30 a.m. My flight is at six. Got here early to check in the bags, and the shit's not even open yet. I guess I'm too early, but. Uh, this is a solo trip for my birthday, and uh, pretty excited, very tired, and I'll see you guys on the plane. First meal out of the airport, Korean food. Bedroom action. Bro, I had to pull over to get this view. Jesus Christ. The camera definitely does not do it justice. Oh my God. So now I'm hiking up the, it's not even a trail, it's a walkway to Pito Lake. Um, there is parking up there, but it's reserved for like buses and RVs. So I didn't want to be an asshole and take up that spot. So I parked all the way down there and then now I'm trekking it up here to go see the lake. Oh my god. Bro, this view. I wish I could expose correctly for this. The camera does not do it justice at all. At all. So I figured I'd make this a a raw vlog. Not going to do anything special, no fancy camera movements. Just me, this single camera. So, the highway that I took to get here is called the Icefield Parkway. There's no ice because it's like still pretty warm. But along this parkway, man, some beautiful, beautiful scenery. Like, I didn't think scenery could make a grown man cry. And it's not because I'm soft. I mean, I'm a little soft, but also like, it's just gorgeous. Like I cannot describe it. The camera will not do it justice. You just have to, you have to be here to witness it. And I'm glad I took this trip because golly, I never would have seen it otherwise. Okay, this is the first time I'm actually entering like woods to hike. Pray, pray I don't see a bear. I don't have bear spray. Bro, again, you have to be here. Day tree here in Canada. Um, let's see, what do I wanna say? I'm currently headed to Lake Louise. I don't have any reservations to take the shuttle. Um, I'm going to Chance parking in the parking lot. And rumor has it that it's impossible. Like, zero chance to get parking at these lakes, uh, both Moraine Lake and Lake Louise, after sunrise. Like, you might as well just turn around and go home. But, a nice lady at the restaurant uh, where I had breakfast earlier, she had said that it should be slowing down this season in terms of like how many people visit the lakes because school started and majority of, majority of the people that visit the lakes are coming from Calgary. And with school starting, everyone's busy, there shouldn't be as much people visiting as like during the summer months. So 
here's hoping that's true and I'm able to find parking somehow. So I made it to Lake Louise and it's fucking hazy. Parking was no problem and this is why. Lake Louise guys. So it is 9.30 a.m. Uh, the parking is good until 7 p.m. I might spend the day here just to see if this haze will lift and maybe I could get some good shots in. But right now it is all too hazy to get some good shots. But I'll just walk around the lake, see if I find anything cool. Back at the car, the haze does not seem like it's uh, letting up. In fact, it's getting worse. So, all good. At the very end of uh, Lake, Lu Lake Louise, Lake Louise, at the very end of Lake Louise where I hiked out to, um, there was like less haze, but like it wasn't clear at all. But I got some, I got some satisfactory shots. And uh, now it's around midday. I think I'm gonna go back to Banff, explore Banff a little bit more, and then go to my friend's cousin's Filipino restaurant in Canmore, probably for dinner tonight. All right, quick update. I'm on my way back to Lake Louise and Moraine Lake. Um, they're, they're like neighboring lakes, so it's not a big deal to get there. And it's like 45 minutes away from where I'm staying. So again, not a big deal to get there. When I headed out, um, I took a nap and I had some lunch at that Filipino spot. Didn't bring the camera because uh, just didn't feel like it. And um, that's that's what I kind of like about exploring on my own. I get to do everything that I want to do on my time. Like, had this been a group trip and we all agreed upon like going to Moraine Lake, then that's what I would have to do. But because I wanted to visit uh, Lake Louise and then like take a break, go home, take a nap, take a shit, and then like explore back again and like, you know, I, I could do that. So, and I don't mind driving, like I love driving, especially when like the scenery is like this. So, again, that's the cool thing about exploring on your own. So we're back here at Lake Louise. It looks like the fog has lifted. Round two. Okay, success at Lake Louise. Man, I'm glad I came back. Now uh, I'm gonna head to Moraine Lake, which is like literally 10 minutes down the road. On the way up, it looked like that the parking lot was open, so I'm gonna head there, check it out, and hope I get as dope shots as I did here at Lake Louise. Here it is, guys, made it to Moraine Lake. This is a lake shore, but I think I wanna get to like a lookout point somewhere over there. I think this is the rock pile trail overseeing um, Moraine Lake. That's gonna be the end point, hopefully. Looks like we go up these steps. Oh, shit. So I just witnessed a proposal 
overseeing Moraine Lake. Man, how romantic can you get?